Now this next one we're looking at here is actually a grouping. What we see is the total length. IP at minimum is going to be 20 bytes. So the header itself is 20 bytes, and then we're going to have whatever the encapsulated data is here. So that's what total length is. Now, identification flags and fragment offset all relate to that process of fragmentation. So the identification field here acts as a identifier for a group of fragments that are part of a larger IP packet. The flags portion is a 3-bit field, and they are bit 0, bit 1, and bit 2. Bit 0 is, of those 3 bits, is a reserved field, and that has to be set to 0 all the time. We don't mess with that bit at all. Now, bit 1 is the DF, or don't fragment bit, and if that is toggled, then it basically says, don't fragment this packet. And we'll get to what happens if that's the case later on. The number two bit is the more fragments bit. And so that would indicate that there are more fragments if it's enabled. If it's turned off, then that would say that this is the end of the fragmented stream of this packet. The fragment offset is a field that is measured in eight byte blocks and it's 13 bits long, and it specifies the offset of a certain fragment that we're looking at in relation to the beginning of the original packet. So it's telling me what chunk of data this is out of the whole packet.